let us look at proposition number 15 of book 4 of Euclid's Elements. Now the proposition talks of inscribing a regular hexagon in a given circle. Okay, so let's see how we can inscribe a hexagon. Take a, any, a, take a point anywhere on the circle and draw a diameter. First, we find the center. We know how to find it. Joining this, draw a line. Take the intersection on the other side. Join A and B so that we can get rid of this line. This is the fun part. Take D as the center and DG as the radius and draw a circle. Now these two intersect at these two points. So mark those two points. Now means once we have these two points, uh, we don't require this circle as such, but for proof purposes we will require it. So let's let's leave it there. Now join GC and extend it so that it intersects the circle on the other side. Okay. Similarly, E and G take the intersections F and now let's get rid of these two lines. We have to prove that if we join all these points, we will get a regular hexagon. So let's take it one by one. Let's first prove all these angles are equal to. What we will do is let's join these points. Now let's look at this triangle EDG. Here, if you notice in circle D, ED equal to DG. Because they are both radii of circle D. And similarly, in circle C, you have EG and GD as radii of circle C. So these two are equal, these two are equal. That means all the three sides of this triangle are equal to each other. And equal sides have equal angles. Opposite angles are equal. That means it is not only an equilateral triangle, but it also a equiangular triangle. That means all these three are equal to each other. Okay. That means their sum is two right angles. That means 180 degree. Okay. Now let's look at this angle CGD. Now we looked at this triangle. If you look at this triangle, you will notice that just like each of these angles is one third of 180 degree. Similarly, this triangle will also be an equilateral and equiangular triangle based on the same logic. That means this angle will also be one third of two right angles. That means 180 degree. This angle is going to be two thirds of 180 degree and if we include this angle, the green angle and the pink angle, they combine together, they are adjacent angles on a straight line. So the sum of these two angles would be 180 degree, but this is two thirds. That means this is also one third of 180 degree. So that means all these three angles are one third of 180 degree. That means they are all equal to each other. Remember, in case of intersecting lines, vertically opposite angles are equal. So that means angle EGF is going to be equal to BGC. Similarly, angle AGB is going to be equal to EGD. E and similarly, this will be equal to this. That means what? All these angles are equal to each other. All are one third of 180 degree. Again, based on one of our previous propositions, we know that equal angles stand on equal circular segments. Yes. Since these all these angles are equal to each other, that means each of these circular segments, AB, BC, C, D, D, E, E, F and F, A. Each of these circular segments are equal to each other. Again, based on another proposition, we know that 
equal circular segments are cut by equal line segments in a circle if you have multiple line segments cutting the circle if it they cut equal circumferences that means they are equal to each other so that means ab equal to b c equal to cd equal to ed is equal to ef so we have proved that all these sides are equal to each other so that means now we also have to prove that this is a equiangular hexagon that means these angles are also equal angle fed is equal to edc is equal to cba is equal to baf so all these angles are also equal to each other now remember we have already proved all these circular segments are equal to each other so let's take fa and ed to af we are going to add these circular segments so that we get this circular segment this angle fed stands on this circular segment to ed let's add b c b a so there also we added three circular segments here also we are adding three circular segments and they are all equal to each other so that means this circular segment is equal to this circular segment this angle efa angle stands on this circular segment and these two circular segments that is the previous one and this one they both are equal that means angle fed is equal to af similarly we can go around and prove that each of these angles are equal to each other so we have proved that this is a hexagon which we have inscribed in a given circle which is not only equilateral but also equiangular so that was proposition number 15 of book 4 of euclid's elements again let me remind you there is a link to a pdf book which describes all these propositions in detail Please feel free to download it, refer to it and if you think somebody else can benefit from it, please do share it. That's it for now.